know what's going on with you. It's your girl Simba, and it is time for another reaction, okay? Today is Terror Tuesday over here on Twitch, where every Tuesday we watch something scary. And we've got something scary coming up. But before I tell you what it is or who it's about, or before you even, you know what I'm saying? Catch this intro. So look, man, look, man, look, man, look, man. It is time to watch a spooky, scary Sunday. Um, This is Corey Ketchin's FNAF. Has never looked like this. It's spooky, scary Sunday number 24. Um, We first to check this out. Like I said, we only we only got a couple for Terror Tuesday. But we, we, it's the bangers. So before we get into this, man, make sure you're hitting the like button, okay? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any future uploads. And then after that, come on over to the Twitch. Come vibe with us. Come chat with us. We're chasing partnership over here. So the more the merrier. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, let's check out what Corey got for us. I, this one's about 40 minutes long. So this is going to be a fairly long reaction. You know what I'm saying? It might be pretty long. So, you know what I'm saying? Like Corey said, sit back, relax, grab your snacks. You know what I'm saying? All that good stuff. Let's get it. Yo, I thought my shit was broke. Why are you sitting? <laughs> like, he was still in the same position after I pressed, like, unpause. You good? Why are you moving like that? Dude, dude, dude. Corey had muscle spasms. Hello. Someone's late for Spooky Scary Sunday. Look at me on time for once, and you running late. Hey, don't it's talk. Okay. Hey, don't don't listen, 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 bro. I understand that I'm running late, but technically, you a couple of weeks late on your newest upload, so it's it's an even exchange. I might be a couple of weeks late watching this, but you a couple of weeks late uploading. So don't come for me. I'm not angry yet. We're all just coming yeah. in. Come one, come all. Spooky scary Sunday train is taking off. Well, since we're all here now, let's get started. If you don't know what Spooky Scary Sunday is by now, then please subscribe. Uh -huh. Spooky Scary Sunday is a show where every Sunday the samurai get together, we congregate to form the beautiful tribe that we are. We sit oh back, relax, and we watch some scary videos sent in by you guys via Twitter using the hashtag Spooky, Spooky Scary, scary Sunday. Sunday. You go to Twitter, follow me at Corey Kenshin. You get a Use shout the out. hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday and leave a link to the scariest video that you know. And if your video gets picked, you get a get shout, shout out. out. So sit back, relax, <laughs> grab some snacks. That go ahead, get you some uh, oatmeal, uh -huh. some uh, pancakes, and some grape juice. And with that oh, that's not too bad. I would have chose orange juice or apple juice, but that's not too bad. That's some breakfast. You know what I'm saying? That's some breakfast. That's some breakfast. Okay, okay, that's some breakfast. I don't know about the grape juice, but that's some breakfast. That being said, first video. Yay! Yay! Oh. Now this first video is called FNAF Tapes Spring FNAF. Trap Escape. Oh great! And it was uploaded by Golden Lane Studio. Now this was sent to us by Santiago, which coincidentally was my name back in Spanish class in high school. Yeah, your boy name used to be Santiago. Santiago <laughs> said, here's something spooky for the next Santiago. Trip so I'm ready, Santiago. <laughs> oh my god! What the hell? FNAF tapes number one. This looks crazy! Oh my Nah this looks this looks clean. Why does it look like a trailer for a video game? Right. Oh my This shit looks clean though. See? What you going down here for? Yeah, you know you're not supposed to be down there on God. See? He looking for trouble. 
See, I would have saw that light. <laughs> Already. Oh, what? turn around. Uh oh. Get up out of there. Get up out of there. Oh, that was a hole. So, so, so. Wait a minute. What? You knew that there was a mop and body down there. She got scared. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. And that's fine. That's fine. I got scared. That's fine. But listen. How you get scared by a train? Hey, do, hey, don't come in here with all that hating, I, right? You know what I'm saying? It's, it came out of nowhere. If you ain't jump, you probably don't have on these Astro A50 wireless headphones, you know what I'm saying, with surround sound booming up in your ears. But they booming in mine, okay? I got a little skirt. It was loud. You know what I'm saying? What am I supposed to do? Stop hating. Dang. Anyway, I ain't investigating nobody's body. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a gun. You know what I'm saying? This is a body. I don't care. Listen, I don't give. If I'm an investigator, I'm not following no trail of blood. Because that clearly means something that was dead is this way. And either got dragged that way or, you know, no. I'm good. Um, I'm not following nobody. They eat people? Do the animatronics? I don't, I don't think they do that. They just kill you, right? Oh, hell no. Stay no! Up. It's it got no time. <laughs> you really let it slap the freaking gun out your hand? Oh my god. Bro, I'm jumping. I'm jumping. I don't care, bro. At least that's an instant death. Are you back at where you started? Bro, these glitches, man, they lighting me up. Oh, oh, no. Please. Shut up with all that breathing! <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way he don't see you. Bro, Ain't no way he don't see right you. How he don't see him? Is that even an animatronic anymore? Nothing's organic. <sighs> yep. Oh, it's going. Hit the door. Hit that the shit's door. right on his back, ain't Throw it? Go a bottle. That shit on his back, ain't it? Why are you screaming? Right. What is Just wrong? run quietly. Dude. What you doing? <laughs> Woo! You're an L man's. Oh. Cause why is you? Oh my god. Oh my god. They gonna make us watch this? I don't wanna watch this. Oh, roll off, roll off. Whoa! I am disgusted. Excuse me? Right! Um, that was ice cold. That's how we starting this Hey, season. Black the Beast, thank you for that five months? Jeez! Damn, I don't know what that was, but that shit was crazy. Now, this next one is called Kitty Cat 96 and it was uploaded by Bune. Now, this was sent to us by, uh, yeah. And they said this one's kind of spooky, so. Black uh, Jesus the if third. If not, I'm coming for your back meat. <laughs> coming. <laughs> Wait a <laughs> Coming for what you? So uh, if it's not, I'm coming for your back meat. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Because why? Because huh? Okay. All right. Okay. Login. Okay. Oh, oh, so she she popping. She kind of popping. Hold on, hold on. She got some how I escaped Scientology X kitty cat. She got 11 million views. 
29 million followers. Instagram DMs and comments busting. Yo, she got she got some sauce. She got clout, chat. You know what I'm saying? This is all it is it That's just what it takes. You know? Let me No. Oh, this is not an intro? Hey kitty cat, what? I can't read any of this. Please, Please post, post a new, new video. video. New video? This is this is you guys writing to me. Uh Take a look inside. Wait, what? happening she made a copy of herself what there the can hell? only be one what the fuck am I yo oh my ego death caught on can what I just recovered from an acid trip. The animation <laughs> style was super oh dope. Oh god. Though. Hey. Third. Animation. Yeah. Now this next one is called Don't Stop for Gas at Night. Ooh, I'm already excited. And it was uploaded by Kaylart, who also did the Cory Kenshin Baldi animation, which you should check out. Why are you just staring at me like that? Can never go wrong with zero. That was a good video. Thanks again, Kaylart. Now this was sent to us by Rive Hard, and he said, "Gas up, light fire, slice them up." Now I'ma just give y'all a second, cause that was a little subliminal cue for y'all to simmer and slice that like button. So I appreciate okay. you, Rive Hard, for letting I the did community already. know, cause sometimes y'all be forgetting. Like, I don't know what's been going on. I did already. Back in the summer of 2016, I got my first job. Hold up. Let me turn that up. Back in the summer of 2016, I got my first job at 18 years old. I was excited about the work, but not about the commute. Without traffic, it was a 30 minute drive both ways. Dang. And I Damn. normally got off work around midnight. And the last thing I wanted to do was drive a half hour to get home. During the first few weeks, I was still getting used to my new routine. And one of the first things my mother told me was to keep an eye on my gas tank. And if I ever needed more, I should leave early and stop on the way. But True. never on my way back. True. I understood her concern. I was a petite 18-year-old female, and I looked even younger. But being who I was, I half forgot, half ignored that advice. Mm -hmm. And one night Shame. on my Wait. way home... Hold on, what is... It why is your car this junky? What is going on? Well, all it is is some sun chips. I lie. Half forgot, half ignored that advice. Mm, mm, mm. And one night on my way home, I realized I legitimately didn't have enough gas in the tank to get me. You said, why is there a dude voicing a girl? I'm not sure. But nah, this animation is, is fucking dope. To my exit, I oh. pulled into the first station I could find, not caring about the brand or the cost of the gas. God damn, that gas is a lot. <laughs> that gas is $3.24 per gallon, chat. Jesus Christ. I'm not fucking with that. That is a lot of fucking... Bruh. I decided to make it as quick as possible and only put in about $10 worth just to get myself out of there. She put in three gallons, and that's it. Gas. And once it got to the $10 mark, I shut it off and printed out my receipt. 
Thinking the worst was behind me, I was about to climb back into my car Get and book it home when a voice came from the tiny intercom above the pump. Ma'am, there was a problem with your credit card payment. I paused and glanced at the guy at the counter. That's, I got my gas. That's right. Issue, on, that God. Gas is on God. Hey, listen. On God. Listen, that's up to you now. That's, that's your problem now. The gas is already in my car. The gas is in there. I got it. It worked. So what that tells me is your gas pump. You know what I'm saying? It told me I'm good. So I, I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. Counter. I got my gas. If it was an issue, that gas shouldn't have came out the pump, partner. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, my God. And felt the chill spiral down my neck. He was one of those tall, gaunt, sketchy-looking clerks. Nope. And was staring right out the window at me, beckoning me to come inside. I stepped back towards the gas pump and pressed the button on the intercom. What's wrong with my card? I have a receipt. It went through just fine. Yeah. I didn't try to hide the annoyance in my voice. I didn't like the look of this guy, or the way he sounded. I just need you to come inside, ma'am. Your receipt is incorrect. I'm going to need to run your card in here. Huh? He replied, a bit too quickly. I looked back at the guy through the window in frustration. There was no way I was going in there, where I would be alone with him. Exactly. He was staring at me wide-eyed, like some kind of creep. Oh, how no. I stood my ground, pulled out my phone, and checked my credit card app. I held it up stupidly as if he could see it from there, <laughs> and I pressed the intercom button again. It went through. I see it on my statement. I'm not coming in. Get in the car! Ma'am, if you attempt to leave, I'll call the police. I have your tag number. Please okay. come inside. I'll show I then them shouted my at him from across the parking lot instead of pressing the intercom. Over $10 of gas, they're going to call the cops? Fuck you. Eh? I'm leaving. Oh my god! Hey! I walked a few steps around my car and gave Drops him a mic. finger. I was just about to walk <laughs> back around my car and climb into the driver's seat when I paused. It was mouthing something to me through the window. I would have ignored it, but he suddenly looked much more desperate than creepy. He kept beckoning me forward and calling out something that I couldn't hear through the window. I must have made a weird look, because five seconds later he slammed a piece of paper on the window where he had hastily written, Guy in your car. Oh! Huh? <laughs> Oh, he was trying to save her. Oh my God, W Mans, I ain't gonna hold you, W Mans. Hey, I, I, uh, bro, if I would have seen, uh, whoo, hey, my bad, my nigga. Hey, I would have came in there. My bad, my G. Oh, oh she running in now. Inside the station. Oh hell once no. Once I was there, the clerk locked the door and told me to get down. He had his eyes on my car and had a gun in his hand. I squatted down behind the counter and watched the security cameras as a tall guy in sweatpants. Time out. Let me just. I want to call attention to the detail. Yo, the there's animation. mad detail in this. We shit. got Pocky. We got price tags. We got warning CCTV. We got employees restricted. We got lava soda. Kalar, we appreciate the attention to detail. Nah, this is Look mad detail, bro. We got a Pringles. Amazing. I'm immersed. Well, I'm, I'm sorry for breaking y'all immersion, but I. Sometimes you just gotta appreciate it. I squatted down behind the counter and watched the security cameras as a tall guy in sweatpants and a windbreaker nudged my back door open, slid out quickly and jogged away into the night. Wow. I started freaking out. Turns out the clerk had noticed the guy hanging around the side of the building on the monitors. And as soon as I pulled in, he made a beeline for my car. He crouched down and opened the door and slid himself inside as I was swiping my card. Wow. Being careful not to close the door all the way behind him so that I wouldn't hear anything. Damn. The clerk had noticed all of this on the camera. He did it to save her. What a legend! Right. He noticed all of this on the camera and immediately called the cops who arrived a few minutes later. They searched the area and my car but were not able to locate the guy or Damn. anything that would lead w back Manzo. to him. The gas station clerk probably saved my life because probably. who knows what would have happened if I had driven off Get your with that stranger in the back seat. I think the lesson here is obvious. 
it's not enough to be cautious. You have to stay alert as well. Oh, be suspicious, but not stupid. And always listen to your mom. Facts, facts. in the chat. Can nah, I get a w, w, w Clark, W Clark, oh, he was trying to, you know what I'm saying? That was amazing. One patron. We got to fix that, guys. We have to. The clerk was giving her all that static just to save her life. He could have just been like, Ma'am, there's a man in your vehicle. Because the way he went about it, like, I probably would have hopped back in the car, too. Like, Yeah, I would have went. I would have went straight back the, in my car. Right, I, I got the gas. Oh, God. I jumped back in the car. I just scratched the shit out of myself. Like trying to... <laughs> <laughs> This next one is called Cookie, and it was uploaded by our friends over at Alter. So, uh, Alter, what's going on, guys? This was sent to us by Juliet Hartwick, who said, I am determined for you oh, to watch this. So, Juliet, we've seen thank this, you though. for sending me this. Um, I don't know where this determination... Okay, so look. We're at a dilemma chat. This... Usually, we just watch the skits. Um, usually, we just watch the skits. But this one is 12 minutes. This is a 12-minute skit, okay? Do you guys want to watch the skits or do you guys want to skip? Let me know, chat. I've seen it already. Yeah, I've, I've, I've literally seen Cookie. If it was like maybe like a two or three minute skip. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Okay. All right. It's We're going to watch it. From for me to watch this. It must be very good. So I would say thank you for sending me the video. And uh, here's your reward. Juliet. Don't start that. I'm just shoving in your gullet. Yo. Alter alert. Alert alert. No. I'm already not. No. She's British! Mm -hmm. Driver, what is it? You guys know. <laughs> I was born in England. I moved to the US when I was a little tot ever since I've been a waste man. Hey up, me doc. This bus will hit deep between the middle of the road. There people have all the time. That's a cheerful introduction to you. Oh, you don't got permission. What you doing? Yes. Zombie! Zombies! She getting into it. Another one? Where's her supervision? Oh, she's smashing them shit. Why is that not on the refrigerator? Out of reach. Hey. Hey. We see oh this one? God, Jesse, thank you so yeah. much. So we, we've seen this video, but we didn't see this spooky scary Sunday. Um, Chat voted to watch it, so we're just going to let it watch and play through. Um, I, We watched Cookie, though. Yeah, of course. Uh, 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 uh. He did a oh, bad great. job. So we're still on for Saturday? Chad, I cut, I cut my finger. Eight o'clock, okay. Oh, great. She, Thanks again. She, she, uh, she did a bad job. But uh, 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 uh. Now his stomach hurt. Is what is in? going on with your face? Nothing. How many cookies did you eat? I only had one. One? Don't lie. That's a lot of crumbs for one cookie. I only had one now you're in trouble no, I, I still would have counted would've beat the bricks on this every one. cookie in that cookie jar and if you did only have one like i said there should be exactly 13 cookies in that jar you didn't count them Ooh, i got a little girl bad as hell mouth, little girl told y'all last time i'm gonna beat listen you know what else i'm about to count these and beatings I'm about to give you. Right, oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Chat, chat. You know what I'm saying? What the freak is going on? You ain't count. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't even <laughs> What the? This is our new cookie jar. I do not like it. Well, then don't put your hand in it. This cookie jar is for adults only. Any time that a child has stolen a cookie from this jar? Why would you bring that home? 
Bree, <laughs> no more cookies. I want to bring that home, Mom. Why? Bro, I wouldn't want to look at that. I'm just trying to eat my frosted flakes at the table, and I gotta look at that. Oh Here she go, I'm trying to steal another cookie. I need a band aid. Oh, she bad. Bad little girl. Hey, you know what? Now I'm kind of in the mood for cookies. I'm gonna let this play. I'm gonna go grab me Whatever like two cookies. Everybody happened to her. Nobody feel bad about it. Just to reiterate, I already seen this. I'll be right back. Ooh, that jar is angry. Watching oh, AMC. <gasps> what? It was on the TV. <sighs> oh, that's that's fire. Reese's cookies, right, Juliet, chat. I see why you sent me Chocolate this. chip and Reese's cookies. All right, all right. Mom! What, hard-headed little girl? Don't be calling for your mom now. You done stole the cookie. Mom! What is that? Oh, oh. This is just a picture. All together, no, sir. No, Mama! <laughs> bro. When I first saw that shit, this is the face. <laughs> Of pure fear, terror. Oh my God! Wake up! Oh my God! I think it came for her. Listen, she ate the cookie. These, are you gonna be okay? These angles are crazy. She ate the cookie. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you know where my room is if you need me. Well, I didn't already seen something move in the corner. Boys, Corey scared out his britches. I ain't even gonna hold it. Corey, Corey, like, <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna hold it up with me, too. Bro, I keep seeing stuff. I'm tripping.
we heard that cring. Oh my. This is on point. I'm scared. Man, they about to hit us with a nasty jump scare. Why is it facing that way? You was facing the couch, not the stairs. <laughs> W little girl, she, she said fuck for real walking outside right now? She said fuck all that extra shit. Where is your mom? She said fuck all that extra shit. Y'all don't lock the house up at night? Yeah. <laughs> mm. You try to open my front door after 10 o'clock, the alarm going off. Shouldn't have did that. Shouldn't have did that. Boy, shouldn't have did that. Mm -mm. Shouldn't have did that. <laughs> they trying to trick us, y'all. Don't even fall for it. This little... Everything's gonna be alright. Well, not... Ignore that singing, but you know. You hear the music. Free? It's me, demon. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You don't know? No. Bree, did you take the cookie jar? No. Nobody likes a liar, Bree. Well, no more cookies in the house then? No more cookies. I was about to start dancing. Oh, don't get the babysitter dragged in. <laughs> hey, hey, how was she today? Oh, yeah, you know, she's painting. Okay, well, we're still good for Thursday, right? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. No, she's gonna work. Okay, well, uh, I have your money here. here. Just, it's fine. Just yeah, send it to no, me. No, thanks. Oh. Okay, I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> yeah, just send it to me as I take it. <laughs> Chat, she what y'all think? She and got possessed. Hi, honey. Hi, mom. Wow. Another masterpiece. Come on. It's way past your bedtime. Wait. Perfect. Hell no. No, sir. I love you, monkey. No, sir. Is everything good? Yep. Hell no. Okay. You gotta throw the whole kid away. Throw the whole kid away, chat. Good night. Last one Throw for the whole week kid is, away, Chip. You guessed it. He's hot. He was popping. He's trendy right now. Siren Head, the creation. Now, this was uploaded by SCP Animated. And it was sent to us by Harrison White, who says, slice that like button. But also that this is a sequel to the Siren Head animation we watched a couple weeks back. Y'all remember the one where the dude, his mom got bodied, and then he took his dog to go fight Siren Head, and then he got smacked up. This is a direct sequel. So if Damn, you ever watch that really? one, go watch that one first, and we on to the sequel. Shout out to I SCP bet. Animated. Y'all killing it. I want to see this one. Uh, that's 
when his mom got body. Uh-huh. Oh, no, no, he got it. body. No, the doggy. No, the doggy. But uh, what? the end of the other one made it seem like he died. Because Siren Head start calling out to the dog. Which I forgot the dog's name. It's about time. I've been wondering if you were gonna wake up at all. What? Where? Where am I? I mean, it's got one shoe on. How did I get here? I imagine the same way I did. Him. What the hmm. hell? Right. I guess I never considered it had a gender. It was always just this thing, this monster. Facts. Name's Charlotte. And if it's any consolation, I'm sorry your luck has brought you here. My name's Jackson. Same to you. So how are they alive Jackson? Inside What's your story? Clearly you already know about the Siren Ed. Have you had run-ins with him before? Yeah. You could say that. Nigga, he yeah. took my mom. No, the dog. Get out of there. I'll admit I've never fully recovered. I mean, I went after the guy with just an axe and a shotgun. How nutty must I have been? Every night for years, when I laid my head down, it wasn't the swaying of the wheat or the chirp of the crickets I heard. It was the distorted, muffled voice of my mother speaking to me. It was Siren Head. Wow. That all sounds really rough. That's crazy. I know you probably heard it from everyone close to you, but it isn't your fault, Jackson. Oh, I know it isn't my fault. It's his. <laughs> now tell me, how did you find yourself down here? Where are we? Mine might not be as tragic as yours, but it is complicated, to say the least. In my former life, I was a doctor. Well, at least I was training to be one. When it all began, I was simply a resident, under the tutelage of the master surgeon, Dr. Vincent Henderson. God, did I respect that man. That's a nod to, uh... Trevor Henderson, the creator of Siren Head. There was no problem he couldn't fix, big or small. Man, if he wasn't set on fixing everything he could. Luckily, I felt the same way. I thought the two of us could change the world. I would have followed him to the end of the earth. Sometimes, it feels like I did. Damn, girl, you in About love with him? About two something? years into my residency, he became extremely focused on philanthropic aid. We started love, taking trips to hospitals in more impoverished areas, volunteering entire weekends at a time. He kept pushing me harder, saying that we needed to do more. It was our civic duty. I was constantly exhausted. I couldn't catch a break. Mm. If it was anybody else, I would have given up and found a new surgeon to study under, but he was so inspiring. I pushed through so much exhaustion and pain for him and for the people we were helping. She ain't little, Invariably, Jack. there were patients that we could do nothing for. Either we were too late or they were too sick. Over time, I started to become accustomed to death, as most doctors do. Mm. But yeah. Vincent took it hard every single time. He said it felt like he personally failed them. Mm. One night, we were closing up his practice, and he pulled a bottle of gin out of his desk drawer. Damn. Told me oh. I could stay for a drink if I'd like. And of course I did. As the night went on, he got more and more distraught. Going on his usual tirade, berating himself for not doing enough. Come he on, said that Dad. every patient who died in his care was a life that he'd wasted. No. Damn. That stuck out to me. He never said that before. So I tried consoling him, saying that it wasn't up to him what they did with their lives. Then he looked at me intensely and said, Maybe not, but there is something we can do with their deaths. He had me follow him into an exam room at the back of the practice. Pushed a floor-to-ceiling storage cabinet aside to reveal a metal hell? door that I'd never seen before. Uh, Doc? Uh... Milo. 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 What, what the hell is going on? No. Don't follow him. Milo. That's not... That's not him. Wow. 
a secret room. What was in there? Are they dead? Room was a cold storage unit. I'd never known about it all my months of working with him. He unlocked it and ushered me inside. I remember the shock, mostly, and the smell. There were four bodies laying on metal exam tables covered in thin white sheets. Mm. Panic started to rise and every muscle in my body was ready to run, but a certain going curiosity on? held me back. He walked to the first body and looked at me before lifting the sheet. It was a Caucasian male, about 40, bloated and extremely pale. His skull had been opened and sewn shut again, and there were pins sticking into his scalp. Yeah. There was a speaker in his mouth, stretching his lips abnormally wide. The second body Vincent uncovered was a Middle Eastern female, no older than 30, who I could tell had been beautiful before she was hacked up. The third one was very thin, probably someone who suffered from anorexia. She was definitely less bloated than the others, but that could have been because the body was fresher. What the hell? At this point, my mind was spinning and it felt hard to breathe. Vincent barely showed any emotion at all, probably just trying to gauge my reaction. Ugh. He did hesitate slightly before revealing the last body, though. I couldn't tell what it had been. Are the you entire head had been removed. Serious? Instead of a neck, there was a metal pole sticking out from between the shoulders, and mounted on top of it was a large cone-shaped speaker. More like a megaphone or a siren than a speaker, really. The body was completely emaciated. The skin was leathery, almost like it had been mummified. What the hell? I'm gonna stop you right there. This long-winded speech of yours really just boils down to your buddy creating this monster. Yeah. That's all it is, isn't it? There's more to it. Really, we... We? What do you mean, we? Oh. Just listen. He about to kill well, you next! After he showed me all of that, he explained the project to me. He needed help, he said. The two of us were doing all that we could, but it wasn't enough. There was still enormous suffering, even within our immediate community. Through this loss of life, he said he could build something useful. Bodies to help aid us if he could reanimate them. What? This what was going to be fuck? his greatest achievement. Oh my. And he asked me to help him. He said he was very close to finishing the project and he was sure his next one would work, but the operation would be delicate and lengthy. We're all gonna die. He needed me. So what? You're in love with this guy and you just do anything he asks? It, it was her. complicated. I didn't say yes right away. I said I'd need time to think it over, which he agreed to. I knew it was disrespectful to the people whose bodies he used. So what'd you do it? I knew it was unnatural. Seriously, kid, I was torn about it. I couldn't sleep at night. My devotion to him and my belief in his work were pitted against this grotesque and extremely illegal what project. The fuck? But he procured a body just a couple days later, and when he called on me to step up, I. I just couldn't refuse. Wow. Procured a body? Jesus, did you never ask where he got them from? Of course I did. I had a lot of questions. So many that I thought he would accuse me of prying and throw me out of his office, or worse. But he was always patient and answered every question with the same calm logic he used that first night. I don't the care. bodies were from a colleague of his. With the number of people that he helped, he'd won a ridiculous amount of favors and trust in the community. And why the speakers? Oh, the muscles used to create speech are much harder to control than muscles in your arms or legs. These things didn't need to talk much, but if they were going to interact with our patients, they need to speak a little. So the speakers were easier than trying to get their mouths to work. What? What the well, we hell? Only I need two of them. Once on him. I wasn't even in the room for that part. He asked me to step out, but the rest of the operation was grueling. Prepping the body took nearly 20 hours, and then we had to remove the head, attach the sirens, string wires around, graft muscle onto metal, cover the really gross-looking parts with extra skin. It felt more like an installation than an operation in some ways. We pumped that body full of steroids, had it attached to huge monitors, used electric charges. Oh it was so experimental. I had no idea how he came up with these techniques. If you could even call them that. So I was right. You made it. 
Sure, we both did. I felt conflicted the entire time. Who wants a helper like that walking oh around the hospital? Look, what got kind of Frankenstein ass siren. shit is this? Invest in like a, a automaton or some Dyson robot or something. It's it's things you can do now. Oh Boston God! Boston Dynamics, y'all, you can hit them up. You done made. <laughs> no one wants to look at this. Oh God! No. Like, <laughs> chat. Like, angry like imagine, imagine, imagine you in a hospital, right? You lying down, sick as hell, and this thing just come into your room to try to help you. Uh-uh! What the fuck is that? Where is the doctor? I am for yo, bro. I bro, listen. I oh my god, I'm having a heart attack. I might be in there for ammonia. Now I got a heart attack and ammonia because y'all done sent this thing in here. What the fuck is this? Help, Once the thing bro. came to life, you have to understand. I thought this would only lead to good things, less suffering. I was proud to some extent. At first, it seemed to go really well. We would give it simple commands, and it would listen. We just kept him in his office, doing little tasks under supervision. Then, I think, Vincent went back and worked on him a little more without me. How'd he get tall? He started growing. And by all laws of logic, that shouldn't have happened. He wasn't truly, really alive. At least at first. He became more violent and hard to control, and... One day, he just broke through the wall of the office and ran off. We tracked him down to this wooded area, and it wasn't hard. <laughs> he created this path of destruction wherever he went. It wasn't anything like he does now, though. He was only about ten feet tall at the time. When we found him, he was blundering around in circles and spouting nonsense from his sirens. He seemed confused, honestly. It was all just radio static and the occasional word jumble. Vincent and I tried to talk to him, but he either didn't understand us anymore or didn't care what we were saying. Eventually, Vincent decided he was a lost cause and wanted to try again with a sixth body. But by that point, I was thoroughly horrified. So you ain't gonna go get it? You ain't gonna bring it? Like, you literally got this thing just sitting out there. You not gonna try to... Like, he just want... I, I, Alright, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just build a new one. The fuck? What our creation had become. I told him I was out. I couldn't continue the project anymore. And I've spent all my years since then tracking Siren Head, trying to figure out how to undo my mistake. Kill it! Milo, there you are. Oh. Good boy, Milo. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Milo. Why does he even smell like your master? Oh, is it Do you have any idea what, the fuck? what grief you've brought people? I lost my whole family because of this thing. Who knows what it's done to other people in the 12 years since then? You think I haven't thought about that? I've spent my whole life trying to make up for what I did. How could you create something Your you had life. no control over? But we did! I don't know what Vincent did to it after that first operation. That's what made us lose control. Now sounds like you're trying to tell yourself you're not to blame. Like you weren't responsible for everything it's done. No, that's not true at all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's what you get. Please, you have to help me. <laughs> Go I don't off. think so. No. Aww. You killed my mother. Damn. The storytelling. Incredible. The Damn. animation. Lackluster. Most of the time we staring at a panning in image. The storytelling alone is carrying the series. Damn. It's a great story. And the, the uh, uh, voice acting, especially in this one. Dang, right. I genuinely cared about what that lady was talking about. But my boy uh, Jackson, he I got a foot. feeling that's going to come back to bite him. Oh, God. See, you always got to turn. You got to turn that cheek, man. I know it's, it can be hard. That is probably going to come back and bite him. Either way, this is a, oh God. a really awesome telling of uh, Siren Head. And I wonder what Trevor thinks about this. Like, he's probably just sitting back like, dang, that's... <laughs> 
I ain't even thinking that. But right, guys, <laughs> that's gonna do it for this week's episode of Spooky Scary Sunday. Spooky Scary um, Sunday. I'm gonna give this one an 8.5. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna give it a nine. I'm gonna give it a nine. We had some good ones in there, definitely. Okay. Next week, I want y'all to get a ten though. Send me the scariest videos. I'll be wait. Next Sunday. Next Sunday. He got a hey, chat. Look, he got a he got the headphone indent chat in his throat. Look, look, look. Next Sunday. <laughs> My boy got the. <laughs> My boy got the headphone indent. You know what I'm saying? It's all good, bro. I know you was emerged. I know you was emerged. That is spooky, scary Sunday. Right? Yes, sir. Hey, that robe look comfy as hell. Hey. Cause my, my name, name is, is Kariki and Chili. Hey. You win. Perfect. Nah, WVID though, WVID. Hey, I ain't gonna hold you. This is some, like, some W videos, man. Like, it wasn't like it was like crazy scary but they were just like these a lot of these videos were like just good storytelling you know what i'm saying good storytelling i liked it i liked it but we up out of here we gonna go react to something else you know what i'm saying go ahead and say bye to chat you know, you know what i'm saying chat say bye to youtube and then um like the video okay subscribe if you're new turn on notifications if you don't have them on already and then come over to the twitch come vibe and chill with us chase the partnership the more the merrier you know what i'm saying but with that being said we up out of here Y'all have yourselves a good one, man. Big pieces, big pieces. Yes, sir.